Hi, Black Cat Recapped here. Today I am going to explain a comedy movie named I Love You, Beth Cooper. The main character is named Dennis, and he is seen as a loser and a nerd. He has strong feelings for the most attractive girl in school, Beth Cooper. Dennis recalls a conversation with his best friend, Rich, who advises him to confess his feelings or else he'll regret it forever. With courage, Dennis takes the stage during prom and gives a farewell speech, expressing his love for Beth. This surprises Beth and Dennis suggests that everyone should confess their hidden problems, like mental issues, eating disorders, or non-traditional orientations. After the graduation ceremony, the graduates celebrate outside by taking pictures and congratulating each other. One of the teachers scolds Dennis for his unplanned speech but also remembers being in love. Dennis notices Beth heading towards him, but she doesn't seem very interested in his invitation to a party at his house. Suddenly, Beth's friends show up and confront Dennis. One of them, Kevin, is Beth's boyfriend, and he threatens Dennis. A teacher intervenes and helps Dennis while Kevin leaves. Dennis and his friend go home and discuss everything. Dennis prepares for the party by organizing drinks and snacks, and he gets nervous and sweaty. He even takes off his shirt to cool down. Dennis's parents straighten his clothes and offer advice before leaving him with 21 bottles of champagne for the party. As they wait outside, they notice Beth and her friends arriving in a blue car. Beth is wearing a red dress, and they all enter the house. Dennis and Rich try to engage them in conversation and offer snacks, but they struggle. To alleviate boredom, the guys decide to open the champagne. As they open the bottle, the cork unexpectedly flies out and hits Dennis in the head. Dennis, who has a black eye, puts a cold cookie from the refrigerator on it. A girl sits on top of him, making him feel embarrassed, but she seems to be enjoying it. The girl finds contraceptives and blows them up like balloons. They are about to leave when they see another car approaching Dennis's house. It's Kevin and his friends, and they park on the lawn. One of Beth's friends happily invites them inside. Dennis is scared and pulls the girl inside the house asking her not to open the door because Kevin will harm him. Dennis panics and runs around the house, closing the windows. However, one door remains open, and Beth's boyfriend manages to enter. Kevin throws a vase at the wall, and then grabs a champagne bottle, launching it at Dennis. Kevin starts throwing more bottles and even a microwave. Dennis and Rich try to escape by going upstairs to find something to defend themselves with. They find a lightsaber from Star Wars, which is better than nothing. Kevin kicks the door open, and Dennis points the lightsaber at him. Unfazed, Kevin rips off the skeleton hands from a decoration in the room and uses them as weapons. The guys engage in a fight. Rich, who had been hiding in the closet, finally comes out and jumps out of the window. Kevin corners Dennis against the wall, but Beth comes to rescue him. She tears off the skeleton's skull and hits Kevin with it, and Dennis escapes to the roof through an open window. However, Kevin quickly recovers, grabs the lightsaber, and throws Dennis off the roof. Dennis falls into rose bushes. He crawls to Rich, who is lying nearby, and fortunately, both of them are relatively unharmed. They continue running, jumping over a fence to hide. Kevin and his gang try to find them but fail. Dennis runs onto the road and gets hit by a car driven by Beth. Beth and her friends pull Dennis into the car. The car quickly starts moving and Kevin and his gang attempt to catch up but fail. Our heroes are safe, although considering Beth's driving, it's not entirely certain. Dennis asks Beth for a phone to call his parents, but they are having a romantic date in their car and don't answer the phone. Suddenly, Beth realizes that Kevin can track her through GPS, so she throws her cell phone out of the window. The guys turn on the music and start singing, having fun along the way. They stop at a gas station to buy beers and chips, but the cashier refuses to sell liquor to underage individuals. Beth promises to give him a passionate kiss in exchange, which upsets Dennis, who loves her. They continue their journey and make a stop on the side of the road to build a fire and open beer bottles. Beth impressively opens a beer bottle with her teeth, and Dennis tries to do the same but ends up breaking one of his baby teeth. Beth's friend and Rich decide to take a walk and end up encountering cows. Rich steps into cow dung while they are left alone. Dennis and Beth discuss their future plans while Beth's friends and Rich attempt to push a cow, but they fail and end up being chased by the herd. 
The group gets back on the road, and Beth, as usual, drives recklessly, even turning off the headlights and crashing into a car. They realize it's Dennis's parents' car, so his father quickly adjusts his pants, and they drive away hastily. They arrive at another party, where there is a large crowd and lots of excitement. The pool is filled with attractive people having fun. Beth and her friends attract attention from a group of guys. Dennis goes in search of a bathroom but gets dragged into an empty room by Greg, a classmate who is usually a bully. Surprisingly, Greg starts crying on Dennis's chest, revealing that he has serious mental problems. Dennis and Rich pick up some snacks in the common area and meet some girls who inform them that Kevin is also present at the party. Realizing the danger, the guys understand that they need to flee. Unfortunately, they are unable to escape. Kevin and his friends surround Dennis and drag him into the living room, where they start kicking him like a ball. The football coach announces the beginning of the fight, but Dennis refuses to fight back. Despite admitting defeat, he still gets hit in the face. Suddenly, Greg appears in the living room and sees Dennis being beaten. He rushes to help and knocks out both Kevin and his friends, including the football coach. Kevin gets up and goes after Greg but a few punches make Greg fall to the floor. Kevin then goes towards Dennis. Dennis realizes he doesn't stand a chance, but something unbelievable happens. A car crashes through the living room window, and Beth emerges, telling Dennis to come with her. Dennis, along with his dream girl, leaves the party. Beth's friends and Rich join them as well. They embark on a crazy race across the city. The car stops in front of the school, and Beth takes out her keys for them to enter. Inside the gym, the girls put on a show for the guys. They dance and sing, just as they have done many times before as cheerleaders for the local soccer team. Dennis smiles but notices something in Beth's eyes. The girls then head to the shower, and Dennis sneaks in after them. He sees that they are only wearing towels, but the girls don't feel shy about it at all. Beth throws off her towel, and Dennis feels completely embarrassed. The girls invite the boys to join them for a swim. Dennis spots Beth's underwear on the bench and decides to seize the moment. He starts undressing, but suddenly Kevin and his friends enter the locker room. With one punch, Dennis knocks Kevin to the floor. Rich quickly rushes to help Dennis and hits the bullies with a wet towel. It turns out that Rich has been training since childhood to use a towel as a weapon. As the battle with towels continues, Dennis, Beth, and their friends try to escape. Rich proves to be unbeatable throwing the bullies in all directions and running out into the street wearing only a towel. He finds his friends waiting for him there. As they navigate through the town, trying to decide what to do next, Dennis stuffs tampons up his nose to stop the bleeding. Beth complains about the smell and asks Dennis to take off his shirt. However, she accidentally throws it out of the car window. They stop to search for it, and everyone in the company sees Dennis's underwear which looks funny and makes everyone burst into laughter. Beth wraps Dennis in her pink poncho, and together they continue their search for the shirt. Eventually, they find the shirt. However, they notice an aggressive raccoon and quickly run away in fear. The group arrives at Beth's friend's house, which is filled with creepy stuffed animals. They fill their glasses with liquor and toast to the best night ever. Dennis and Beth step outside to meet at dawn and have a conversation about life while walking to the pier. Meanwhile, Rich is having fun with Beth's friends. He sits between them and feels like the king of the world. The girls start seducing him, licking cookies and unbuttoning his shirt. Rich can't resist, but everything happens too quickly, leaving the girls slightly disappointed in their goal. As the sunrise paints a beautiful picture, Dennis musters up the courage to confess that he still loves Beth even though she turned out to be different from what he imagined. In that moment, they share their first kiss. The next morning, Dennis's parents are busy cleaning up the mess in their house when they see a car arriving. They recognize Dennis, Rich, Beth, and her friends stepping out of the car. Although Dennis's father isn't pleased with the mess, what matters most to him is that his son had a good time. Dennis and Beth bid each other farewell and wish each other luck. Beth passionately kisses Dennis and expresses gratitude for his love. They make a pact to meet again many years later at a reunion of graduates, and, if they are both single at that time, to get married.